Hi again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So if you are new to my channel, I grow cut flowers in Northwest Iowa in zone 5A, and I sell these at a couple area local farmers markets every week. And today happens to be another farmers market day, so I thought that I would take you along while I make all of my bouquets. So before I start putting all of my bouquets together for the day, let me just show you everything that I'm working with this week. Um, so right in front of me here, you can see I have a big bunch of snapdragons. These are gonna be amazing. My snapdragons just keep on performing all season long. Now this bucket is full of zinnias and some marigolds. And then in here, I have some sunflowers and the last of my lisianthus. I have apricot this week and a few of the black pearl as well. Um, but this is pretty much the last of them. And then I have a bunch of status and some white cosmos. Now I also picked some orlea this morning. Some of it's wilting. So I'm wondering if that is just one of those flowers that needs to sit overnight. Um, I'm gonna let them sit for a while. I may or may not use them. And one more bucket. Okay, actually two more. I have a few Heliopsis. And I have a bunch of Celosia and Gomphrina. So those will be really fun fillers. So if you watched my last bouquet making video, you heard me talk about my bouquet recipes. That's just kind of a system I follow each week when I put my bouquets together to help speed up the process. And so my bouquet recipe is basically just the combination of flowers that I'm using that week in my bouquets. And so this week I'm coming up with two bouquet recipes and those will be the mixed bouquets that I'm selling at the market. Now, in addition to that, I'm also going to be selling just my straight Snapdragon bouquets this week because I have so many. So before I get started on my mixed bouquets and those two recipes, I'm gonna to put together a few of the straight Snapdragon bouquets. So let me do that first. Snapdragon bouquets done. Aren't those adorable? So I just did all mixed colors and they have seven to eight stems. Uh, the ones that have eight stems had a little smaller Snapdragons in them. Next year I'm growing mostly the Potomac and the Costa series because those Snapdragons seem to be a little more um, like heavy duty thicker stems. So that's what I'm going to be growing a majority of. And I do still have quite a few snapdragons left, so I'm probably gonna end up making a couple more of these bouquets. But I think first I'm gonna move on to my mixed bouquets just in case I add a couple of these in. So let me set these aside and I'll get started on my mixed ones. Okay, so the first recipe that I'm doing today is going to be using my Pro Cut Plum Sunflowers. Aren't those pretty? So I have three of these. And the filler that I'm gonna use for this is my Celosia. And I always start with the filler in my bouquet when I'm putting it together. I don't know if that's right or wrong, that is just what works best for me. And then along with the Pro Cut Sunflowers and then the Celosia, I'm also going to be putting one Apricot Lisianthus in here because I happen to have three of those also. And I think that they go perfectly with that Pro Cut Sunflower. So these bouquets are going to be kind of like a peachy pink, um, like purple cream color scheme. And then my next recipe is going to be more yellows and bright colors because those are the sunflowers I have. So I'm gonna start off with this nice piece of Celosi in the middle and then I'm gonna add in a couple of Snapdragons. And then I'm gonna put another Celosia in the back for height. I'm gonna use, um, this is the Selway White Celosia. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my Pro Cut Sunflower in the front. 
And then I want my lisianthus to be off to the side of that. Isn't that pretty so far? So that is the main part of the bouquet. And then I'm going to fill in the sides with some zinnias. And then I'm going to add in a couple cosmos. And the cosmos I kind of like to tuck in the center because they're a little floppier. Okay, so there's what that one looks like. I'm gonna wrap it and then I'll put a picture up on the screen so that you can see it better. Okay, so that's recipe number one. I will put a close-up picture up on the screen so you can see what it looks like. But in here, I have one large Pro Cut Plum Sunflower. I have an Apricot Lysianthus. I have three Snapdragons, a couple Cosmos, a Xenia, and then a Benary's Giant Xenia, and a couple of Celosia in the back for the filler. So I think that turned out really nice. So let me set this aside and I will show you my second recipe for the week. All right, so this mixture is gonna be more of like the yellows, oranges, golds, some corals. So I'm gonna start with my filler first. So I have some status I'm putting in the back. And then I have these large marigold branches, which I think are so pretty. So that's gonna go in there as the base also. And then the sunflower for these are going to be my yellow sunflower. So I'm gonna put that in the front. So I'm gonna add in a Snapdragon to this too. This is the Costa Apricot Snapdragon. I'm gonna put one of those in. And then I have some Orange Gumpfrina. So I'm gonna pop three of those in for color. One, two, three. Then I'm gonna grab some Heliopsis. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my sunflower in the front. I'm gonna add one Xenia in next to it, which look at that one. That's Senorita, I think. I'm gonna put that in the front. That kind of matches with the um, orange Gumfrina. Then I'm gonna put a Rebecca in here, which this is the Sahara Rebecca. I'm gonna pop that in, and then I'm gonna put one Cosmos up on the side. Actually two, I'm gonna pop another one right in the middle there. All right, there's that one. Let me wrap this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here's the two recipes side by side for the week. One is more whites, purples, and pinks, and the other one is oranges, yellows, and corals. So I think it'll be really fun this week to have a couple different color schemes that people can choose from. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of those bouquets together that match the recipes, and then we'll see what I have left at the end. Okay, so I have quite a few bouquets done. Let me show you what I have before I use my remnants that's left for my recipes to make a few extra. So I ended up with five of my Snapdragon bouquets. This, these each have about seven to eight stems in them. Those are always really great sellers. And then here's one recipe. This is the one with the yellow sunflowers. And then the other recipe has a completely different look to it. Isn't that pretty? So these are with the Pro Cut Plum Sunflowers and that's more kind of purples, reds, whites. I think they're both really pretty. So I'm gonna set all of these aside. Let me show you the remnants that I have left and I'll come up with a couple more miscellaneous bouquets with that. Okay, so here's everything that I have left. I did put together one more miscellaneous bouquet because I had a yellow sunflower left. There's that one, which is really pretty too. So I have a sunflower in the middle that will open. I have three Costa Apricot Snapdragons, a couple of those big marigolds, some Celosia and Gomfrina, and a couple of Heliopsis. So I'm gonna try and get two more really good looking bouquets out of what I have left, which is basically a whole bunch of Celosia, some marigolds, a couple zinnias. I have one really pretty Lysianthus left. Um, this is the Roseanne Black Pearl. 
I have one dahlia. Isn't that pretty? My dahlias are covered with buds. They are just starting. So I think September is going to be the month for those. Um, I have a couple snapdragons and then here's my Orlea that I picked today and it is perking up. Um, so I think maybe Orlea is just one of those plants that I need to pick the night before so it really has time to hydrate. Um, kind of like status. So I am going to use a couple of those. So I'm just going to start building and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, so I think this is what this one is gonna end up looking like. So it actually turned out really pretty. So I'm using some Orlea as the filler and then some of the Celosia. I have a couple of the big marigolds, some Gomfrina, two Costa Apricot Snapdragons. I put the Dahlia in there and then I do have one mini sunflower that's gonna open up in the next day or so. So I think that turned out really pretty. So let me trim this and wrap it and I will get um, one last bouquet made. All right, so there it is wrapped. I should also mention, um, if you are wondering my process for wrapping my bouquets, I just posted a video on that probably about five days ago, so make sure to check that out. All right, I'm gonna do one more bouquet and then I should have all of my buckets full to take to the market. And the focal flower in this is going to be my Lysianthus. Here's the last one. This one is really different from all the others. This one is really heavy on Celosia, but I actually really like how it turned out. So I have the red Celosia and then um, this white in there, which I am not, there's a bug, which I'm not exactly sure which ones those are because that came in a mix that came from Florette. Um, I have a Xenia in here. I have some of the Marigolds, some Gomfrina, the Orlea, and then uh, that Lysianthus in the front that all of those buds should open up. We'll get rid of that dried one. So I'm gonna wrap this one up and then I will give you a look at everything that I'm taking to the market. Okay, all of my bouquets are ready to go to the market. So I have three of the Pro Cut Plum recipe. I have three of the Yellow Sunflower recipe. I have five Snapdragon bouquets. And then I have three more of the miscellaneous bouquets that were from um, kind of the leftovers. So I am really happy with that. So I have nine $15 bouquets and five $10 bouquets. And for this market, that is great. It's a smaller market. It's been a little slower lately. So I am really happy with what I have this week. I also am happy because I felt very limited on my sunflowers that were blooming this week and my dahlias have not even started yet. Obviously, I just had one dahlia, um, but those are getting ready to explode. So from here on out, um, I should be really good with the dahlias, hopefully. And besides these today, I did have two custom orders that went out the door, so it has been a really busy flower day. So I'm gonna pack everything up and head to the market. I'll put some images up on the screen so you can see close-ups of these bouquets. And then at the end of the video, I will share how everything went.
Okay, so it is the morning after the market and things went pretty well. The market started off a little bit slow, just as I anticipated, but about halfway through, things picked up. I ended up coming home with four of the Snapdragon bouquets, which I was kind of surprised. Um, those did not sell as well last night. And then I came home with one mixed bouquet. So I did a post on social media, and since then I have gotten rid of everything but one Snapdragon bouquet. So this will be going home with me this week. So it was another successful market week. So that's it for this video. Stay tuned for a lot more content the rest of the summer and into the fall, and we will see you soon.